eternal life. But the God that I serve got it all. Amen. 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 And you know what they did? They went right back to the corner. And they started preaching the word of God again. Amen. Just because we got persecuted. Just because we got whipped. It doesn't mean we're going to stop doing what God called us to do. Amen. We're going to keep on going on. Talking about acres of diamond. Amen. Jesus spoke to Paul on the album of high motion. And the Bible said that he was caught up. Through a, a door up in the heaven, and some door opened up, uh, and the Bible said he heard a voice, and it said, "Come up hither." And old John was caught up in just a moment of a twinkling of an eye. And if you don't understand that verse of scripture in Revelation chapter one, it is symbolic and it's a picture of the rapture of the church. There, at verse in chapter four, when God said, "Come up hither." And just for history and just for theological understanding, after chapter 4 of the book of Revelation, the church is no longer on the earth. They have been caught up through that door. John representing the rapture. When Jesus said, come up hither, it's the same verse that's talking about that the trunk sound and the dead in Christ raised. Uh, and they that was alive uh, was caught up to be with the Lord forever and forever. In that sky, we was called up to go to heaven. So everything at the chapter 4 of the book of Revelation, you're not there unless you didn't make it. Right. Say it again. People are all afraid of revelation. Oh man, this, man these beasts are going to be biting folks and, and these things flying through the air. Rocks falling out of the sky. If you ain't saved, you're going to be here. That's right. But if you are born again of the Spirit of God, God has not called us to wrath. He's not called his body to go through the wrath of Almighty God. The body is going to be resurrected and begin to be raptured right out of this world. And that's why I'm living for God this afternoon. Because there's some better things in store for the believers this evening. If you would just grab hold to it. Amen. Hold on to it. I'm telling you about acres of that. And every one of you got this promise. Every one of you have this promise of God. Amen. Of the rapture of the church being caught up. But some of you are going to be running around just like that fella. Sold his farm. Sold everything. Looking for a dream. Looking for a rainbow. When the God is right here this morning. And then the power of God is right here this morning. What are you looking for? Amen. I'm looking for Jesus and I found him right where he said he would be. So we realize that all of this goes on and, and, and the rapture takes place. And now let's go back to our Bible readings. Amen. This morning. So we know that the Bible said a lot of folks said that, well, I'm, I'm, I'm rich. I'm, I'm not in need of anything. You hear people say that all the time, don't you? Amen. How you doing? I'm blessed. How you doing? I'm doing good. There's no way you can be doing good if you're not saved. There's no way.